Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea Jackson. And on this channel, I talk about plus size fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So that way you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Sunday and Wednesday. So in today's video, I am going to do a video that some of you ladies and gents requested. So if you don't know, I finally purchased one of the items for, from my luxury wish list, which is a Ruslan or Ruslan Baginski hat. And guys, I'm so excited. So yeah, I finally got the hat. I did an unboxing on Instagram the other day and I just wanted to do like a quick unboxing because a lot of people are interested in this hat. The hat is gaining a lot of momentum and no one's really doing reviews like that for real. And um, a lot of people are just doing unboxings and showing up like, hey, I got the hat. <laughs> just kind of like, oh, that's cute. I want one too. What is it all about? And being that it's not an American made company, and if you order exactly from the website, it's going to take you about 35 days to get the hat. We don't want to risk that much time just to have to send it back and 50 plus dollars in shipping, depending on where it's shipping to if you order from the actual Ruslan Baginski website. So with all of that, everybody is just trying to be extra careful about the fitting and all of that of the hat. So people just aren't really answering the questions that people may have who's interested. So in today's video, I am going to attempt to do that for you. So we're gonna talk about the hat itself. We're gonna talk about where I got it from. And we're gonna talk about the main thing that y'all wanna know, which are the measurements and what do I recommend? So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. So if you follow me on Instagram at it's Chelsea Jackson underscore, you would have seen that I did an unboxing. So I'm just going to do a half cop unboxing right now. So I did get it from my Teresa. I did not order from the website because I did not want to risk the 35 day shipping time. I did not want to pay $50 in shipping, even though I paid 25, but nonetheless um it was like i want to say two to three days so but i um and where this company is the world is having problems i'm not going to say the name because i don't want to risk getting messed up in the algorithm but it start with a u and end with an e so um that's where this company is from and i didn't want to risk nothing or whatever i don't even know if there's any problems but i ain't want to find out neither so anyway it came from uh, my teresa it came in this beautiful yellow box and they had a nice my teresa sticker but i tore it up and the hat came just like this so here we go now this is the hat now i chose this olive green because I thought it would be a nice cute color for the spring slash summer. All right, so this is the hat. It is brand new, just so you know. It does have the Russell and Baginski um, tags on here. So yeah, and then it says large, all that good stuff if the camera is focusing in on it. I didn't even read it. Oh yeah, it says it's green. It is made out of 25% hemp, 30% cotton, and the lining is 100% cotton. So the inside is 100% cotton. Now let's talk about the hat before I get into the inside. All right, so like I said, it's the olive green. I really liked it because of the gold accents. Right here, it's like a little pearl ball. And then this right here is made out of kind of like that stringy material. I don't want to pull at it that much. But it just have an RB right there. And I thought it was just really cute. So that's the outside. And actually, let me bring it closer so you can see what the fabric looks like. Hopefully that helps. All right, so that's the outside of the hat. This is the inside. Now, when I tried it on, I got some makeup right there, so I got to clean it <laughs> when I tried it on yesterday. But yeah. This is the inside of the hat. And again, it is a large. So this is 100% cotton on the inside. So I could just take a baby wipe and wipe that makeup off. 
or a makeup cleansing wipe. Oh, and I didn't even realize it has a My Teresa tag as well. So pretty much they will only accept returns if this tag is still on. Like I said, it's a size large. And yeah, this is it. So now that I showed you guys the hat, what it looks like on the inside and all of that, let's get into the measurements. Okay, so like I said, I got a size large in this hat and it comes out to 58 centimeters and 22.8 inches. Now, this is measuring around the circumference of your head. So the same as measuring for a lace wig, like that. So with that being said, if you've been watching me, y'all know how much I always talk about getting these tapes. It's a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna measure the circumference, circumference of my head. Now I really don't have to measure the true circumference because it's not like a wig and these hats, you don't wear all the way down anyway, you kind of wear them to the top, so. Ooh, I got a grande cabeza. So let's just say 20, I'll just say 25 inches. I'm not holding it tight and it's around my ponytail as well in the back. So let's just say that. So according to this hat, I need to get 24 inches. Now, of course the large is, what did I read off 22 inches? So it's like two inches too small. So with that being said, so pretty much I should get the XXL according to this timetable thing. Now this is with my wig on. Now, of course, my head is smaller <laughs> than the wig. The wig is giving it a couple of inches because it's bulky and the density is high. So yeah, it's not that high, it's kind of mid-grade. But anyway, that's how you measure for the hat. I got a size large anyway, but it still fits. So let me take this and measure around. So I'm just taking the tape and measuring the circumference of this hat. So I just took the measuring tape and I did measure the circumference of this hat and it is 22.8 inches. My head with this wig on is 20, let's just say 24. I didn't pull it tight because I didn't wanna mess up my hair and my makeup. So yeah, that's giving leeway. Now that will be true leeway for anybody else too who wear a wig and especially if your wig is high density. Now we're gonna try on the hat. Um, I'm gonna put a piece of tissue paper in the front so I don't get no more makeup on there. Okay. Okay, so it's going down on my head, except for I have a ponytail in the back. So it won't go down past my ponytail. I don't know if you see it. But yeah, so this is the hat on my head. Now I love it because I like when the hats fit like this. I don't like when they go all the way down like a regular hat because I don't feel like it's supposed to be made to wear like a regular hat. So if your head is my size, I do suggest a large. Now I am gonna try an extra large. And the other designs that I get, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna order another design with an extra large to see how I like it. But yeah, so this is the hat. This is the hat. Is it given? Yeah, so this is the hat on. I really like it. Again, I like the color. I like the, um, the next time I put my hat on, I'm gonna probably, I mean, well, the next time I wear my wig, I'm gonna put my ponytail a little bit lower so it can go down a little bit more. But yeah, this is it. And yeah, I'm just, this is cute. But yeah, I love the color. I feel like I can wear it with, if because y'all know I'm, I live for a monochromatic look, so I feel like I can put this on with all tan, some tan chino shorts, a tan top, and wear it and have like a 
one of my straw bags or something like that. I can style this a couple different ways. I can wear this with a white button down with some blue jeans and just put this on with some gold accessories. And yeah, it's so much I could do with this color. Um, I was looking at the light straw hat that a lot of people are getting, but I have a fedora, a, well, a Panama hat, and it's straw, so I really didn't want to be redundant with the straw hats in my collection. But it's one that I saw, it's straw, but it's kind of like a cognac color, like a whiskey color straw. Now, I think I may get that. If, that, if I see that come across in a large, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. Um because I think it's really cute and it's very summer, very spring. I love hats and I just think this hat is perfect to elevate anything you have on, especially those black hats in the fall. Oh my God, y'all, they look so good. You can wear this with orange, just like my girl Sherry lookbook. She had it on with an orange shirt. I thought it was so cute, but yeah, this green, when I saw it, I was like, okay, yeah, I gotta get it. So yeah, hopefully y'all like this hat. It's very comfortable. It does not feel like if I laugh too hard, it'll come popping off. Um, <laughs> I do like it with my short hair. Yeah, I keep looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so how y'all like the hat? Yep, so this is the hat. I finally got it, I'm so excited. Um, if your head is larger than mine or you wear high density wigs go ahead and place your order online it's i personally have not seen it's hard to find a, a large on these regular third party sites like my teresa or farfetch but i definitely have not seen any extra larges in this style of hat um not necessarily this style as far as the color but this style like the Baker Boy hat in general, no matter what color color or whatever finish, I have not seen these in um, on any of those sites. So pretty much you're gonna have to just cut to the chase, go on the Ruslan Bigeski website and order them. They go up to a size 2XL. So yeah, if your head is larger than mine or the same size, a large if you like how this fits, or an XL. Now, I've seen some reviews and some people had on XLs and those hats kind of look a little saggy. And I like how this looks very, even though you see this, I can kind of purse it down. I don't want to lose the shape of my head. I just want to show y'all how you could do it. So it's not like hard, but some of their hats look kind of saggy and I don't want that look. I do want this at attention look like I'm about to get ready to deliver you some some mail <laughs> but I'm out of uniform I'm just in my own uniform and my khaki and I ain't got on my blue USPS hat on <laughs> I want to give that look I don't want to give the you know soggy kind of hat look so um that is I guess one of the dangers of ordering a size that's a little too big for you but yeah the average person honestly I think need a large or extra large. A lot of people, unless you are wearing a ball, you know, if you're rocking a low to bald cut, definitely maybe you can try a medium or a small, or you can just me measure your actual head. But if you're gonna be wearing wigs, you have natural hair, you have thick hair, all that good stuff, you need to be sticking to a large. Um, medium, some people can pull mediums off, but you know, they can kind of come off a little small. So yeah, I'll just, I would say the average person needs to be gearing towards a large or an XL, unless you have a really, really small head. So yeah, now that y'all see the fit of the hat, the price of this hat, I actually got a deal on it. On the website is $260. I actually paid $255. Was it two, yeah, two fifty five. So I got a five dollar discount, and the shipping was twenty five dollars. So I paid like almost right touching three hundred. It wasn't. It was two ninety something, but let's just say three hundred dollars for the hat. And yeah, I got it by FedEx, and 
it's here. I ordered, I want to say last Thursday, I got it. Was it Thursday or Friday? Last Thursday. Yeah, I ordered it last Thursday. I got it on a Wednesday. So I'm not so mad coming from overseas and having to go through clearance and all of that. So yeah. Now, like I said, if you do order it on this website, Ruslan Baginski website, there is there are hardly any XLs, really larges either, but there are hardly any larges, um, extra larges or double XLs that are just ready to buy and ready to ship. They have to make those hats on demand and then they have to ship them out. So you're looking at about a month before you get your hat. So if you're thinking about getting it and you know this summer you want to be rocking it, if you get it today, you already know it's going to be the end of April before you even get it in your hand. So you kind of want to be proactive and plan accordingly. And like I said, if you want one, you probably don't want to sleep because if you sleep a little too long, you're going to be in September. <laughs> and it's then it's going to be time to go ahead and get your black ones or your darker colored ones. So yeah, if you want this to be a part of your summer, spring, summer wardrobe, go ahead and get your order in. Check Farfetch check all the other sites and yeah this is my baby one item off the list checked off all right i definitely think that um these are very much worth the investment they will up any look so yeah if y'all can get your hands on y'all hats and yeah that's all i have for this video i hope that it was helpful I hope that it gave you a little bit more insight into this hat and I'm going to edit it to where I ain't doing so much rambling. <laughs> All right. So let me know in the comments if you decide to get a hat or not, which color combination you're going to get and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.